under the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, that law doesn't require insurance companies to cover some of the preventive services that somebody might need um, for a genetic condition. And so if somebody's denied, then insurance appeals can be a very important tool for them. Um, and this can be the case both if it's a predisposition and you're getting preventive services, or in the case of if you have symptoms um, and there's a denial for some sort of treatment that you have. Uh, but insurance appeals are definitely a tool for patients and, and pre-vivors alike uh, to try to help get the care that they need. Uh, and there's generally two levels of appeals. There's internal appeals, which you ask the insurance company that denied you, um, and you ask them if you can, if they'll cover the, the service that they had denied. Um, and generally there's two levels of appeals for that. But then after that, in every state now under the Affordable Care Act, people can appeal through an external appeals process, which means you go to an independent medical review board that looks at whether the procedure that was denied is medical ne medically necessary and whatever they decide is binding on that insurance company. So that's an area where we find that patients have a much higher rate of success because it's an independent body looking at it.